if you want to improve your child or student's comprehension skills. This is how to do it. Introduce them to journaling. This is my journal. I asked my students to use a small drawing book. I don't have one, so I am using letter-sized sheets of paper that I clip together. So you have them clip articles from the newspaper and you can see here, I've been clipping articles. You can use any newspaper. Make sure that you have your post-its. You can use any material that you have at home. Get your color pencils ready, glue, tape, etc. So have them paste the articles in the journals. They are going to be pasting the heading or the title and the pictures with the caption. So you want to ensure that the captions are there as well. Only the heading. Don't have them paste the entire article. I'll explain why later. They will focus on a skill and complete a word study afterwards. So in this example, the skill we looked at was cause and effect. Of course, they have to change the title. They have to reword the title. Here is an example of the word study. Now, the word that they choose to complete their word study on has to be a word that is relevant to the article itself. So you see land slips in Diamond Road. So the word that I pulled out was land slip. I have definition, sentences, syllabicate the word. I have pictures of a non-example and an example synonyms antonyms and any additional information now if the item is not applicable you have them write n slash e now with that same article i was able to pull out two words so i completed land slip as well as impossible so this is what you have your students do second article clip out the article picture caption headline you have them change or reword the headline or title cause and effect again third article picture headline in this instance we were working on two skills cause and effect as well as my prediction and you can have them change the conjunction in this article we used because in this one we used since we also did more than one skill in this example we had my predictions cause and effect and we also practiced questioning as well let me show you some student samples this student chose this article and worked on cause and effect relationships she used the word tragedy for her word study another student chose the same article but used the word blaze for the word study some parents may insist on including the full article please don't do that don't have them read the entire article. Do not. And bombard them with 25 new technical words. They lose interest quickly. You want to be intentional about what you ask the students to do with the journal. The purpose is to focus on these two areas. By the way, don't encourage this. No stickers unless it's relevant to the article being discussed. This is not an art and craft project. So what do you do after a week of journals? These are the areas we will focus on. Relevance to the topic is what is important. After a week of journals, you have your students complete a word review. They constantly encounter the words as they go back and forth throughout their journals. You can have your students choose five words from their journals and create sentences using them. In the same way, you can have your students choose five words and ask them to write the definitions of those words. Another word review activity is guess the word. The students write three to five definitions and put in the missing words. Your students can also have a word challenge in which they use five words in one continuous paragraph. Finally, they can choose a word and draw a new picture that represents